from work one night. I'd been working all day with the toothache. And uh, I thought to myself, God, I'll have to get that tooth out. It's no good. No, it wasn't my toothache. It was something else aching. And I went home and I was staying with my mother and Barney was there. Mm. And Mum said to me, you better see what's up with that boy of yours, she said. He's been whimpering all the afternoon ever since he came home from school. I said, what's he been whimpering for? Barney doesn't cry for nothing. And Bar Billy, my brother, said, he's got an earache, Ollie. And Mum, and Mum said, yes, he's got an earache. He's bawling his eyes out all the time. And I said, what, he's got an earache? Could my sister died through an earache. Mm, Emma. Yeah. And I said, you mean to tell me you've let him cry all the afternoon with an earache and you've done nothing about it? And I said, Barney, I said, Billy, where's your bike, love? And Billy brings out his bike and we put a cushion on it and we put Bill and Barney on the cushion and then I got on the bike and we pedaled off to Nor Norwood. That's where he went. That's where I had to go with him. How old was Barney at that point? Barney was only about 10, 10. Or 12, 10 I think, it's about 10. And I pedaled all the way to Norwood from where we lived. I mm. can't think of that bloody place now. And anyway, I pedaled all the way there. I know it was two suburbs. And anyway, I got there and luckily the doctor was there. Mm. And I said, oh, doctor, thank God you're here. I said, my son's got an earache. And I said, no, I'm so frightened you'll get uh, affected in it because I said my sister died through an infected ear. And I told him the story of Emma. He said, oh, well, we mustn't have it happen, must be little mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, no, no, I was nearly in tears. I said, I've been at work all day, that's why we're so late. And he said, oh, what a shame. So he said, come on, Barney. So we took Barney inside, and he's still whimpering. And uh, so anyway, he started on Barney. And he said to me, when he said, He's all right, he said, he's out of danger now, he said, but by oh, gee, he said, I'm glad you brought him because he said, he said, he didn't have an infected here, but he said, he could soon will have got one. Mm. See, mum didn't care. Right. So anyway, um, I put Barney back on the bike, but and I, the doctor said, come back again tomorrow. He said, I've only cleaned all the rubbish out. He mm. said he had a good bit of rubbish there. So the, the next night when I come home from work, I had to pedal all the way back again mm. uh, with Barney and, and poor old Barney. And Billy was worried about me, you see, because being at work all day and starting out at six o'clock in the morning and not coming home at six o'clock and not and having to go to the doctor and all that. Afterwards, yeah, you yeah, were tired. I, I was too and hungry mm -hmm. and uh, anyway as soon as I got home Barney had the bike ready and we went straight away that time. The second time? Yeah and then we took Barney down and he, he gave his ear a good doing out that time. Did he wash them out? Oh, well, I don't know what he did. Because now they use a syringe, they squirt water in you know? Yeah I don't know what he did, I didn't go into the surgery with him. Mm. But he he did a good job, and when he brought Barney out, he said to Barney, "You feel better now, Barney." Barney said, "Oh yes, it's not paining me now, doctor." And Mama said, and I said, "No, I said, and thank you very much, doctor." Oh, he said, "You've got to come back again tomorrow for the, <laughs> the last meeting." He said, and that was a Saturday. Yeah, but he said, "It it being Saturday it doesn't matter." He said. You come, he said, and I'll look after you. The doctor worked on a Saturday for you? Yeah. So anyway, I said, how much do I owe you now, doctor? He said, well, the first one was the dearest. That was two and six. He said, now I'm charging you two. The second time was two shillings. And now, he said, I'm charging you 
nothing. He said, you're a brave little mother. He said, and your son is a brave little soldier. And he said, I, I wouldn't have the heart to take any money off you. But I said, doctor, that's not my way of, of living. I said, I'd like to pay me away if you don't mind. I said, please take some money. <laughs> and I made him take two and six. Mm. He didn't want to take it, but I made him take it. Harry said, oh, he said...